We're getting ready for the NFC Championship game, and David Carr is here to break down the tail of the tape for the starting quarterbacks going head-to-head for the Arizona Cardinals. Obviously, it's Carson Palmer for the Carolina Panthers, Cam Newton. And let's take a look at how these guys stack up against each other. Starting off with awareness, which guy has the edge in this category? I I just give it to Carson just based on experience alone. Um, The awareness... You know, it just comes into as far as just being able to see the defense, what they're doing, how it fits into your scheme, what play to get into. I think he's just seen more football, you know, so I kind of give it to him. I don't know if they ask Cam to do as much at the line of scrimmage either, so I think that's a little bit of it. Well, that leads us into passing, which obviously is what you do with that awareness, throwing the football yeah. and distributing it to your playmakers. And again, Carson is, uh, if you're going to build a prototypical quarterback, he would be the guy, a drop-back guy. Um, he's, he's accurate down the field. He takes some of the biggest risks in the game as far as just what throws he tries to make. Uh, and he pulls it off a lot of times. So the arm strength and accuracy, it hasn't left him. I mean, you just look at throws like this. I mean, he just puts it on the money in tight situations where he probably shouldn't even throw the football. So I'm going to go advantage Palmer in that one also. It does feel like this is an area where Cam has shown some strides this year, some oh, touch on his passes yes. as well. Uh, but an area maybe will, where he will continue to develop as we move on to the third category in our tale of the tape. and. That's the guys around the guy, the weapons. Yeah, and I, and this is almost a credit to Cam just because of the guys that he doesn't really have around him. You have Greg Olson and Ted Ginn's kind of coming out of nowhere again, but it's Carson Palmer and Larry Fitzgerald to Mike Floyd. I mean, the guys, are, he's just stacked. He's running backs galore. Um, he, he does a good job, and Bruce Arians does a good job of kind of putting those guys in position to make plays, but Carson's got to deliver the ball too, so he, uh, he definitely has an advantage in the weapons category. Yeah, certainly with a wide receiver and Larry Fitzgerald averaging over 100 yards uh, receiving in his postseason career could be key in this game, but leadership is the last category, maybe the most important. Yeah, I think so. I think we look at all these you know, check marks for Carson, but the leadership and Cam Newton's confidence, and that kind of ties into what you were talking about earlier with his ability to throw the football down the field. Um, but, you know, what, what he really excels in is, is the ability to run the football, you know, and they, they line up in kind of a wishbone shotgun formation, and he's, he's probably their toughest back to tackle, you know, and then when you couple that with the fact that he's also a passer with the football in his hands, you got to respect the down the field throws, but he's just the total package right now. So that, that leadership, it kind of encompasses a lot when you talk about the type of game that he plays. And that's why I like Cam in, in this football game, honestly. I mean, the guy's a tremendous football player. Well, and obviously in the red zone, too, his running ability is so dangerous, as we see on tape right now. Not only can he carry it in the end zone like that, but his ability to do that gives yeah. him that pop pass as well, which is such a dangerous like and hard Like we saw from defend. Tim Tebow and all those guys in Florida doing it, but he brought it to the NFL, which is yeah. tremendous. Yeah, well, certainly this is going to be a fun matchup to watch this week in the NFC Championship coming up. I cannot wait for this game. Fun. You can get all your coverage at NFL.com and right here on NFL Now.